chair's gonna break. <laughs> Too fat for this you need, chair. You need to fix that chair. <laughs> Ready? No, afraid this chair's gonna break. <sighs> In the zone. In the zone. Hello. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. This is Terry of Terry's 50 Finds and Jim, and we Jim are show. here for the Sunday Jim snack show. day. Terry's but we're going to try Sunday and change things day. up. Take it away, Jim. <laughs> Take it away. Okay. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Um, so we've been doing snacks. And which are great. Pekka, stop eating your pig. And um, they are, they're great, but we want to kind of go a little bit further. So we had a request, Terry says, to go to Asia, some part of Asia. Asian foods. Um, we have a few places out here. And one I went to, we have a Japanese uh, supermarket I'm going to go to next week. Uh, I thought actually <laughs> I was going to a Japanese supermarket. But when I walked in, it was all Korean. So that's how I know the spelling difference between Japan or Japanese letter and Korean letters, yes. which I don't. Anyway, I met a really nice guy named John. John, hi, John, if um, you remember me, if you look at the videos. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, he pointed me in some directions to try out. <clears throat> one of them we're not going to try because, which is this one right here. And this is a uh, spicy sausage and vegetable soup. Everything's already in here, just like the picture. So, but I'm gonna make that for dinner or lunch. It's for one person, That's which okay. yeah. But it's pretty heavy. Feel how heavy that is. Oh yeah, lots of stuff in there. Yeah, but uh, um, maybe just save it a little bit. Yeah, but anyways, that's that's something he should try out. Everything else I have not opened yet because there's one thing that we're gonna try, and um, I don't think Terry's gonna try it. But Terry has a couple things. Let's go ahead and. Push the uh, <laughs> yeah, just Dollar a couple Tree. of things from Dollar Tree. Nothing really new. I didn't find anything that I really wanted to try. Um, but this this is the watermelon hint. We tried the blackberry. Um, the other one that was there was don't open. I mean, if it's the same kind of stuff, just watermelon flavored. I mean, yeah. I trust it. I'd rather drink the whole thing by myself without you around because it's good. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, well fine. Well, it's it's I did like the other one. It was just watermelon. enough. Yeah. It was just a hint of flavor. Right. And I I prefer sparkling water, but I mean I, this is yeah. this is good. So, and Look. what's nice about it is it was a sugary, which I like that. Yeah. Um this one these are the garden vegetable crackers and I don't think I've ever tried these before. But I figure they're probably pretty good. They're like little mini size serve a soup or a salad. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. Mm. They're good. I like those for coffee. Yeah. Those are definitely good. So, yeah, I think Dollar Tree, they're running out of ideas. Mm -hmm. So, really that's why I want to step into something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We did get some chips and some uh, basically like ri uh, raisin. Raisin. Rice? No. Rice um, chips, you want to call them. Uh, something else that Terry didn't like. From Mexico, but these are very uh, popular in Korea. This is a yogurt with cap uh, with um, carbonation drink. Mm -hmm. This is their like Sprite, so it's going to be something else. I did pick up some kimchi. Yum. Love kimchi, and this is like, and I'll kind of explain what he told me about kimchi, which is very interesting, and something I can't show Terry because she will say no for sure. And first of all, Terry, I love it. Choose your weapon. I think I'll take the green pear. One of the green pear. There's another one. Fine. What, what, Lighter what, green. What the red ones? What's neat? I, I collect these. Not these. Are these uh, decorative ones too? Yeah. They can they be. Sure mm -hmm. are. Yeah. These aren't just the throwaway kind. These definitely want to keep. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! So, we'll be using this for the kimchi and the specialty one that Terry can't be told about. Well, you um, can not tell me about it and make me try it and see. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I got to tell you about it because, I mean, again, I'll try anything, anything. 
I mean, it, it's just, let me, as long as it's edible, I'll try it. I have no problem doing that. If I like it, I'll like it. I love certain things and some things I just don't care that people love. So we're going to try this one first. And this is like the, um, uh, in Mexico, the, I think the bottom one, Terry tried and she didn't really care for it. She said it was like a bird feeder. But these are very popular snacks for the kids. And these are assortments of different kinds. So maybe, this might be a little does bit it better. say the kind that on the back? Go ahead and read that to me. Okay, let's see here. It's in Korean. <laughs> she can't. No, I'm looking for English. Sometimes it's not, I it's all in Korean. Anyways, so here we have, it looks like um, peanut. These look like um, pistachio. This is a uh, sesame seed with uh, different kind of nuts in it. And the top one, I'm not sure about. But. Um, yeah, and it actually shows it says black bean, oh, peanut, say. pumpkin seed, buckwheat, sliced almond, cream syrup, sugar, vegetable oil, soybean. So it does have nuts in it. Yeah, of course it has nuts. No, so. I'm just saying that anyone who has oh, peanut allergy. Actually, it's, I think it says it on there. Oh, I remember seeing that when I saw it when I got this. Yes, they have to say peanuts. It said, you know. It contains peanuts, obviously, because yeah. you can see it. Okay. Yeah. So this is containing precious flavor of traditional sweet port, uh, Korea. Each piece of <laughs> workmanship of experts is ready to put. Oh, they smell good. So smell that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to try one layer, each one, each one, and we'll cut it in half in the one. So go ahead and take the right side, one of each. Okay, one of each. Mm-hmm. I'll just, we'll break these in half. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. There we go. Just in case. Don't. Put this back on here because it won't, wait, not open. Yeah, this one's good. There we go. Actually, I'll put this like this so that you can see how pretty these are. They're decorative. Okay, so this is the black bean because it's black. Yeah. And because it has the corn syrup on it, sweetness. Oh, there we go. Good. Not bad. I mean,. I like black beans, like if you if you get them in like a salad, or there's uh, black beans that you can get in burritos too. Salads. I don't really care for them. Um, anything but. Um, what annoys me? Chestnuts. Chestnuts. Usually. Chestnuts annoy I love, me. I love those. The texture of it. Oh, bothers me. So that was the black bean. This is the pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. That yeah. looks good. You can taste the pumpkin seed in there. Mm -hmm. I like this one better. Yeah. Very seedy. Mm. Okay. And this one would be the what? This has. Just regular peanuts. I guess so, huh? What are, oh, those are um, rice, um, like. Um, Oh, there probably is grains of rice in yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They all have a distinct flavor. They're mm -hmm. all different flavored, which is good. I guess being beans to be high in protein. Mm-hmm. This is a good little smash. Mm-hmm. For those of you that don't like... um. Don't eat meat. So uh, beans are um, good protein. Mm -hmm. of course. The last one would be the sesame with, I guess that would be sunflower and peanut yeah. and yeah. almond right there. It's almond. Mm. I do have the same. These are tastier than the ones from Mexico. Mm hmm. The ones that you got from Mexico, they were really dry. 
Mm -hmm. But they didn't have the sugary taste like these do. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yours are much more um, flavorful when it comes to the sweet part of it, which mm -hmm. makes a big difference in the flavor of the nut, I think. I really do. I think it all depends on how it's made. The, the um, what puts it together, what keeps it intact. I'm using technical words here. <laughs> that was good. Now, on this one, John was telling me that these would be like when you're making rice and that rice that's dried to the bottom or kind of on the bottom of the pan, like kind of cooked, overcooked. Mm -hmm. That's what the, these would be like. Okay. So. Smell that. What does it smell like? Interesting. Um, let me smell again. It smells like. I can't think it place the smell. It you know, it, you know, it smells like walking into a Chinese soup, a restaurant. It does. Doesn't it? The rice. It smells. It, it's just. Well, actually, it smells like fortune cookies. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It does. Fortune cookie smell. Let me take that one. The color on it, on the bottom, mm. is darker than the top, like it was burnt on the pan. They're very dry. They're very, um, what's that bread called that you like? Um, rice cakes-ish tasting. Not too much flavor, but there is still a little flavor to it, like it was burnt. Yeah. Yeah. It does taste like, oh, it, tastes, it smells like... A Chinese restaurant. Hmm. When you go it's in. It tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's good. But not all flavor. No. It's good just to like munch on. Like, well, like you know. Something to munch on. You're waiting for your food. Instead mm -hmm. of a bag, thing of peanuts or something. I'll give you these. Mm -hmm. Like nachos at a Mexican restaurant. Sure. You can put these in a bowl. With like a. Sweet and sour dipping sauce. Oh, and see, there you go. Let's open up a Japanese Chinese restaurant, Korean restaurant, and get these things. That's what we serve. There's these in a bowl and the dipping sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which so, I love sweet chili sauce. We're going to jump into this one here, which is Milkus. Milkus, and it says on the back, new feeling of soda beverage. No caffeine, no preserves, no corn syrup. Refreshing milk, refreshing milk and yogurt flavor. And it's got Mary Poppins. It's got Mary Poppins. It does. Jumping over the moon. So I'm gonna try this. I didn't shake it because it's urban meat. This comes in a six pack, and it is a yogurt milk flavored soda. It tastes like a vanilla float. Yeah, it does. That's really delicious. This is 130 calories, no protein. It's got uh, added sugar, 62%. Total carbs, 10% carbs, sodium, 1% sodium. Terry likes that. No salt in it. Yeah. It's, well, that's it's really, really good. Stuff, I yeah, like this. Try to stay away from it. It's pretty good. With this, yeah. There's your snack. Very yeah. good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to Choco Boy. And um, they're like little chocolate mushrooms. 
to get kids high. But it's an interesting way it opens up. There's a perforation on the side like that. Remember um, the cereals, the small cereals you used to get? Oh, yeah. You used to cut them open right here and pour your milk in them. Yeah, that's not Okay, really so, good. and then you do this. There you go. That's a lot of packaging for one bag. Yeah. <laughs> So the way that someone getting into the package, I guess, the way of keeping it sanitary. Oh, cute. Look at that. It's a little chocolate mushroom. Mm. So the bottom looks like a cookie, and the top, of course, chocolate. Mm. Those are good. Two boxes. With two packs, there's probably a good 15, 20 of them in here. Why does it say twin pack when there's only one bag? The box is over there. Oh. There's two boxes with two okay. packs in them. Gotcha. Uh, it threw me when it said twin pack yeah. and we only have one box here. <laughs> no. I thought there was two bags in there. Mm. Like, hey, they dipped us. <laughs> oh. That's good. Yeah. Now we're going a little saltier. Moving our way to the kimchi. If you ever had kimchi, you really can't mix it with things unless it's dinner time. Mm -hmm. Which, actually, for my steak tonight, I think I'm going to have some kimchi next to it. So we have crab chips. I love the lobster chips. I love all the flavors of these things. I'm not sure if there's any actual flavor they add to it that is real. I think it's all just flavored. But I do love these so much. I don't think I've ever had See, crab chips. See, it's flavored, so. Yeah. I'm going to show the picture of the way you do it. Okay. They don't look like crabs. They look like uh, Fritos. These are delicious. I need these all day long. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. They're, okay. they're not horribly flavored. Look, I got crabs. Oh. Chips. Oh. Crab chips. That'd be good for your life. You like those. I like them, but I know he likes them better. So, so we're going to jump over to the seltzer or the soda water. And they said this is their version of Sprite. Well, actually, I like 7-Up better than Sprite, um, and ginger ale even better. This would have more of the Shasta yeah. soda water yeah, with lemon cool. juice in it kind of thing. Not a fan. Mm -mm. But, okay. you know, it is what but it over is. Over ice would be a nice, refreshing yeah. drink. It's but I do like this. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Okay. So, um, you need to I give you two. I give you two. So, okay. take one out. Take one out. That's right. Right here. Oh. So, you got okay. it? Okay. So, I got to get us uh, something for this so I can scoop it out. Right before we moved here to Indiana, we went out with our neighbors. They, um, Took us to a Korean restaurant, do you remember? Roland Heights. Oh, we that had, was delicious. Oh, oh I can eat That was so the much. last time I had kimchi. So that was four year, over four right. years ago. Let's make some room here for this. Kimchi is um, pickled vegetables. Now, there are different kind of kimchi, as I was told from John, mm. that there are radish, onion, uh, this is a mixture of different ones. And it's honestly, he says, the way it looks is presented in here. More juice is not as good. You want more vegetable in it than you want juice. Um, when, when he saw this one, he goes, oh, this is actually a good one. And he grabbed two for himself. 
So I trust him. Um, is more juice is spicier? No, I think yeah. more juices takes away from the vegetable flavor. Yeah. And then, uh, again, it's very spicy, and there's different levels of kimchi. Some of it, I can't even have. So this, is this a spice? This is a medium spice Good. level. Because <laughs> I, I do like the spice, but... Now, um... It's again, it, this is compact full of vegetables. I so I'm going to put a couple different ones in here. Here's that one, and this is going to be. Looks like an onion. No, I think that's the same lettuce. Looks like. Yeah. The bottom of a, a, a celery stick. Yeah, possibly. Now, typically, um, as, an, as an American goes, you get this. Uh, when you go to Korean barbecue, they put it on a little plate, but you can get as much as you want. And you'll be taking this in and out once in a while just as flavor for your food. And does Terry know how to use chopsticks? Yes, she does. Look at Kinda, that. sort of. <laughs> They're pretty, though. Look at that. Very pretty. So. Mm. So this is, on the side it says, sliced cabbage kimchi. Uh, ingredients, kimchi, which is, or not kimchi, a uh, cabbage. 10 calories per serving. And, and the ingredients on it, which is, of course, probably the best thing about this stuff is healthy. Plus it opens up your sinuses. Everything's zeros except for cholesterol, I'm sorry, a sodium 11, but probably for packaging reasons. Yeah. And protein, 1%. Calcium, 4%. And iron, 4%. It's vegetables. So it. what is the spice that they use? Oh, okay. Uh, ingredients. Napa cabbage, radish, chili pepper, powder, okay. garlic, garlic something or a scarline. You don't want the rest of that? No. The flavor's good, but I don't... Oh, I just don't care for the. I think because the vegetable is. Okay, the kimchi that I've had in that restaurant is the vegetables aren't soggy like that. They're a little more solid. Maybe, maybe they weren't right. Maybe. Maybe this know. is the way you eat kimchi when they're soggy, and we were just spoiled because they didn't have a little juice on it. Sure. But I'm glad you like it. I mean, don't get me oh. wrong. Well. Oh. I love kimchi. In fact, I thought about trying to make my own. You dig a hole in the backyard. Yeah. So that's what they do. They dig holes in the backyard and they mm. plant the uh, the pots with the kimchi in it and leave it in there for months. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Again, I, good. I'm, I'm, a big fan of, I'm a big fan of Korean barbecue, which mm. I'm probably not real. I think it's more of an American thing. Last time I had it. We were in California last time, huh? Mm -hmm. With uh, the Travis family. Yeah. Our favorite restaurant. Okay. So this is... This is actually a street food in Korea. It's silkworm. Pupa. They are actually silkworms. And very well known to be eaten all throughout... Korea. And if Pekka doesn't relax, we're going to make her eat these. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're going to try them. Uh, she doesn't have to try it, but I will try it. But they say no, these I are. Won't try it. <laughs> um, wait till she sees it. Now, the way they'll do it is on the streets, they'll fry it, but these are already cooked and they're in a water or a juice. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So let me bring the camera up to this. Oh. No, 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 no. These are our silkworms. Silkworms. I'm really, you know, just, just for the fact of... Uh, just for the I fact smell? of curiosity. Don't smell it. Because you're not going to like it. It smells like uh, beans. Doesn't it smell yeah, like it does. beans? But you know, honestly, people get freaked out. We try it. 
Honestly, they wouldn't put them in packages and sell them in the United States if you can't eat them. Right. No, I have no doubt. They're not that bad. They're not that bad. What do they taste like? They taste like a silkworm. <laughs> no. Um, you know, I've been watching videos when people eat these. They're like, oh, freaking out. Just try it. It's, um... I'll stick with these. <laughs> There's no distinct taste to it. It tastes like um, eating beans. Yeah. Try, try like one. No. Just, just try one. No, Come on. That's fine. No. <laughs> but they're not, I mean, they're um, interesting looking. They're, see they're if I can get one here. They're, they're silkworms. And they're definitely dead. Cooked. <laughs> but honestly, they're not the worst thing in the world. No, and if you had to... Now, I what's mean, the protein level on this thing? Oh, man. Really good protein, I'm sure. Grub. Let's go grub. <coughs> <laughs> Whatever Pumba eats. <laughs> Slimy? It's satisfying. That's right, huh? Come on. Uh, I'm going to be this upside down. Cholesterol, 18%. Sodium, 28%. Protein, 12 grams of protein in it. Is that good? Uh, I, I guess, yeah. They're not that bad, Terry. That's good. Try one. No, no. I'm fine. Well, come on. That's the whole thing about... <laughs> that's the whole thing about snack Sunday de desk yes. day. Yes. Desk day Sunday snacks. <laughs> Want some more kimchi? No, thanks. This is very interesting. I mean, it, there's no real rhyme or reason why I keep eating these things. Maybe because they're not all that horrible. What I'd like to do is I would like to get the oh, the cricket candies or the you know those kind of things. Yeah, I have a friend who who likes to who bought chocolate covered grasshoppers or something like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, maybe not that. But that wasn't so bad. I mean, compared to what I was watching and videos and all that. Come on, people. Don't freak out over things. Okay. Kind of a quick one. But we did delve into some certain things and away a little bit from the snacks when it came to the kimchi. Mm -hmm. And when it came to the uh, silkworms. And, again, with this, the way you make it, is boil some water, you put it in there, and you're done. You can't so, cook it in this. No. Okay. With use well, well, you put you put this in hot water. Say so you put the bag in the hot water. Oh, okay. And then, or you can microwave it for six minutes, and it would be in a pot by itself. Mm -hmm. Um. But again, you want to try it? No. Okay. okay. What I'll do is I'll make a video of it and try it and put it up for next week. Sounds good. So, let's review. Terry, how did you like the silk? Oh, she didn't have any. That's okay. I'll have one for you. I know. Two or three. Go ahead. Anyway. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, let's go backwards. Kimchi, yes or no? It's good flavor. But I, I don't care for the consistency of what, but maybe that's because I'm not used to that. I think it's very good. I like more of a crunchy vegetable. Uh, the, uh, that's good. The soda water or the, uh, lemon lime soda. Yeah. Soda. It's okay. it's okay. Again, it reminded me of Shasta mm -hmm. lemon lime. The, um, that's very good. Milk, yogurt, soda. Yeah. Very good. Very interesting. I like that. We have the crab chips. Those are good. These are very good. How do they taste in the... <laughs> we have the mushroom chocolates. Very good. Very good. Like that. And then we have the rice cakes, which is like having burnt rice out of the pan. It was good. I like it. 
good. Not a lot of flavor, but it was good. Nice snack. We have our different nuts. Yeah, I liked all these except for the, the black bean. I mean, I'd eat it, but I won't eat it again. But um, I like all the other the other three. Were nice. Sorry, I was I guess. She did she ate one of the worms. No, she <laughs> See? Didn't. Okay, and then Jerry has and her. And my vegetable crackers. Those are really good. I love those. And the hint, we know it's going to be good. The blackberry one we've tried, and the watermelon will be good, too. Hmm. And the chopsticks. You can add them to your collection. Yes. I should have got my Star Wars chopsticks. Oh, well. Okay. That would be cool, though. Okay. okay, so... um. Definitely keep watching our videos. Subscribe. Hit the bell button. Bell button. The bell button. Bell button. Button. The button. <laughs> Next to the train. <laughs> Making fun of people. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, tell a friend. Tell a friend that I ate some silkworms and I wasn't disgusted by them. I do want, please give us ideas and hints on what to try. I'm, again, I'll try anything. And put it in my plate. I'll, you know, even if I know what it is, I'll try it because yeah. as long as it's not alive and crawling off of my plate, I'm okay with it. Um, but we tried Turkey, we've tried Russia, Japan, Korea, um, Taiwan. We tried I not Iraq yet. We tried um, Mexico, of course, and we tried China. So there's a vast amount more yeah. food out there that I'd love to try. Go to and, the, you gotta go to the German restaurant again. Oh, oh, oh yeah. anyway. They're German uh, you know, deli. If, yeah, like if we go to, you know what we're gonna do? Terry and I are gonna take a drive on a Saturday in the morning. And we're gonna drive out to Dayton, and maybe hit Columbus, and go to a couple of German restaurants in Columbus and come back the same day, just so that you can get a glimpse of what Columbus has to do with uh, Germany and, and the food. The food's amazing. Mm -hmm. And there's an area out there that has cobblestone roads and and very oh, authentic and all that. Here we have something here, but it's more of a Christmas theme. Um, and I forgot the name of it. Remember the name of that place here? Anyways, mm -hmm. it's always on the news. Yeah. Um, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. It's very important because it lets us know that you like what we're doing. And um, other than that, uh, we want to thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey, thank you. Annyeong! Annyeong is bad, huh? Try one. No, 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 no. Come on. Nope, 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 nope.